Hey, what's friends? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, having a chit chat with me. My name is Candace, and right now I want to talk about my empties. Y'all know how to how it goes. I melt a lot and want to talk about what I just finished up last night. I finished up Amityville from Super Tarts, and this is the lavender, strawberry, and mac apple. This is so amazing. Oh my goodness. I love this scent for bedtime. I just wrote on Super Tarts page and I think she's going to bring this one back. I'm hoping I can grab a few bricks of this. This helps me sleep so much. It is a great lavender strawberry blend. All right, what else did I melt today? I blended these two. This is from Lavender and Speckles, Raspberry Jam, Vanilla Buttercream Cake. I put um, two cubes in my open concept and I'm melting a uh, second spruce, a raspberry scent from that vendor. And I had one piece left of this and I blended with fresh picked strawberry sugar cake mango sorbet. I did this in my guest bedroom today. It's smelling great in here, so no complaints. Now, Normally, I do like the tubs and all of that first. We're going to go with the bags. I think they're in order. So, the first vendor I have here is Rose Girls. And I did get through a lot of Rose Girls. I had to go ahead and do an empties because it was overflowing. And I did not want to get on here and not remember what I melted. But so far, so good. I think I can recall all of these. So, the first one is Tahishi. Tied. Sorry, there gotta be a truck passing by or something. Um, mango yuzu leche berries sugar guava. This was really good. I got the mango, the leche, and the guava. Would repurchase that. Kissing on the beach, lotus flowers, ocean mist, sea air, driftwood, musk, dew, and coastal kale. This was a five out of five. I really enjoyed that one. I did it in my bathroom. Sally sells seashells by the seashore that one is a hard one to say this is kiwi jackfruit salty sea air salt water i would definitely grab this one again i just got it in february but i melted this and i couldn't stop it was that good if you like kiwi and fruity scents you will like that one and i i'm really into the like whole fruity guava mango all the good fruity scents this spring and summer I don't know. I'm just loving fruity scents. The next one is Bukini Bottom. And it's a blueberry cereal, strawberry scoop, YC type, SpongeBob inspired wine. This one performed well. This is from April of last year. But I don't like summer scoop. I cannot stand this scent now. And I'm trying to avoid it in all blends. And this strawberry scoop had that like sour note that I don't like. Great performance, just not a scent for me. Womps. This one was so good. And to me, this is like a winter scent, but I melted it at bedtime. It's so good. Pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, campfire, marshmallow. As you can see, I put a favorite for bedtime. So good. 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. Macintosh pancakes with vanilla ice cream. I put a 4 out of 5. This was really good. I had posted about this on my instagram and on rose girls group page and i had saved a little bit and i finished it off really good i love mac apple that was a really juicy mac apple and the last one for rose girls is speechless in the mountains this is from the speechless sampler this is satsuma kale raindrops blended with amber woods musk and fresh waters this was really good in the bathroom i love speechless and this was like a more outdoorsy woody speechless blend really good okay next we have lavender and speckles the first one that i did was masala chai and cinnamon pine cones y'all this was so good this was beautiful nutty and spicy masala chai freshly baked cinnamon buns and roasted pine cones i thoroughly enjoyed this one it was really good carnival ride this is strawberry pound cake juicy apples maple bourbon and cotton candy i picked up the apples and to me i did this in my bedroom it's like a medium performer 
performer. I've got like a green apple vibe, like a green apple cotton candy. I didn't really pick up the strawberry pound cake, but it did perform well. I did the regular strawberry pound cake. This one was on the lighter side. And I did Loose Diner Breakfast, which is blueberry cheesecake, blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, cinnamon white cake, French toast with maple syrup. So good. This performed really well. And to be honest, I normally just buy these bags, like the, the six pieces. I've never bought a bigger bag, never bought a loaf. So I don't normally have enough to do in my open concept. But these six cubes, I tried it in my open concept. And I think I blended it with some other like vanilla bakery. But this performed really well and I would pick it up again. Moving along, we have two from L3. I still have not placed an L3 order. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't. I'm going to place one before um, this vendor closes. Really just, I don't know. I feel like if I order something, I'm going to still be upset when I run out. So I'm just in between about L3 because they have so many great blends and so many that I still have never tried. Um, I've only been buying wet since 2022. And, but I am going to place another order with, with L3. Cherry Mellow Sugar Cookie Royale. This was beautiful. I got like a cherry cookie vibe. One thing I would say, it did not last super long, but while it was throwing, it performed well. Cod Piece Gun Fig Blackberry Brown Sugar. I love this scent. Um, I had another shape of this. I got this around Halloween, and I put that it was a medium. Now, the first time I melted this scent, it was a strong one. It literally blew me out of my room but this time it was like average medium really good blackberry fig scent though okay i got three from junkie monkey i have been melting this vendor's wax to see how it does in my home the first one is citrus cloud which is raw sugar mandarin peach nectar boardwalk marshmallow clouds so this one is from march um it was in a little snap bar shape or whatever you call it snap bar brittle this was like a light medium for me. I don't know if it's because of the shapes that I got. Because I feel like the um, the clams, they perform better than these smaller shapes. I have to use a lot more wax with these. But I got like a light medium scent. It was pretty. Not one that I need more of. Spring cake was really good. Lilac, white cake, cotton candy, apple. And mandarin sugar. I know this is like a custom, uh, customer blend, and it's beautiful. I really like that one and would repurchase. And this one, this one I posted about. It performed really great. Definitely like a four out of five. This is dragon fruit twist and marshmallow clouds. This is boardwalk twist. A really great one, you guys. If you like those fruity, sweet scents, this was good and it performed well. We have two from Enchanted Scent Memories. This vendor has been doing well in my home. I did blueberry sugar cookies in my bedroom, and I was just really shocked how good this was. It says blueberry and sweet sugar cookies. It's more... Oh, I'm slapping y'all with the, the thing in my bed. Okay. It is more blueberry than sugar cookie. It's like a candy blueberry scent. To me, it's not heavy bakery. I don't know what that blend is but it works and it is so good and then i finished peach jubilee it says suckling peaches fresh apples and juicy berries this one was really good as well i enjoyed that next we have two from the pharmacist order fancy full which is lemon chiffon cake raspberry jam cupcakes at tiffany sugar cookie royale this was a really good lemon bakery scent the raspberry jam was it was just there it wasn't a super strong one but it did perform well i enjoyed that one i don't know if i would pick it up again though and pink mango this was a custom a custom i did and this is pink sugar mango sorbet and salty sea air i put that this was just okay what i will say about this one it was a beautiful scent i don't know if salty sea air and mango went together with this one i liked it but on warm it just came off a little weird yeah it, it came off a little plasticky like it was a plastic salty vibe going on 
I really didn't enjoy it, but it performed well, so I left it alone. But yeah, this was a custom I did. I would not repurchase that. And these, I think, are one-offs. So, brought, no, I got two from Broadway Wax. Okay. Whip and Nene Strawberry Pound Cake, Wild Berry Cheesecake with Vanilla. This was nice. Um, This is from March of last year, 2023. It was in a cute um, pie slice shape. I enjoyed it. Like, I get mixed performance with Broadway Wax, but I've only ordered from this vendor once. This one was on the, like, light medium side. It did perform, but is it something I need more of? Probably not. This one I despise. I did not like this scent. I had to melt it with the doors closed at night uh, when I knew I was not coming in this room. This is Toasted Milk and Cookies. Which is milk and cookies, sea salt s'mores, toasted vanilla, sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Sounds good, right? No. No, no. No, y'all. This had like the most sourest notes ever. It legit smelled like sour milk and salt. So, and it performed. That's the crazy part. It's like the scents that I love or I really like sometimes don't perform as well but the scents you do not like always performs super strong powerhouse so i'm glad to have this out my stash i will not pick that up again okay rainbow melts we got a sample in honeysuckle which is golden honeysuckle nectar i this is going on day two in my bathroom really pretty floral scent i still have not changed my wet side and it's pretty strong so wood repurchase Sugar Baby from Southbound, Lavender Vanilla Wafers, and Vanilla Frosted Waffle Cones. I put, I need more. This was so good. This is lavender in bakery. Some of the best um, lavender I've tried is from Southbound. That vendor has a great lavender, and this was really good. Oh, Nose Farm Scents. We have Midnight Rain, which is Beach Evenings and Blackberry. This was gorgeous. I got medium performer, performance from this one. I did get his, like, I think the Beach Evenings is Beach Nights and Black Bear. I love Black Bear. So, no brainer. I would love this one. I would definitely pick up more of this one if it returns. Salem Soy Co., My Two Moves, Pink Frosted Cake, and Blackberry, y'all. This was shaped like a penis. It was. And I cut, cut the wax in half, and it actually turned red and bled through like the wax was... It was so freaky and so, <laughs> so weird. But it was fun to melt and I enjoyed the scent. Um, it was just like a sweet cake and blackberry scent. Birdies make sense. We have Hannah's Baby Strawberry White Cake Zucchini Bread. This is from October of 22. I don't like this scent anymore. I bought it. I had two of these, I think. The first time I loved it. Now that my nose, I can't handle zucchini bread, this was a powerhouse. This performed so well, but it was too um, funky, bready-like for me. I and But the strawberry white cake was good. I just, no, not for me. Cake by the Ocean, three cakes from Scoop of Wet Smells. This was great. This is three cakes in Cake by the Ocean, which is that strawberry pound cake, key lime scent. This was so good. Loved it with repurchase. And we have Sassy Girl Aroma Strawberry Cheesecake, Fresh Strawberry and Homemade Cheesecake. I've been working on this one for a while. This one is from 2023. Um, it was super strong. And this bag is very, like, squishy. I don't know why. It was very strong. I could still smell it in the bag. Um, yeah, that homemade cheesecake. This cheesecake I didn't really like. Um, I don't know what it was about it, but I got that sour note that I keep getting sometimes in wax. But didn't really care for this one. It was a great performer, but I would not pick it up. Okay, I had to pull out the rest of my empties. I did finish a sample. Is this a sample? Or this is from the sample, I think. Jaws and Stress Relief. This was kind of light. And I normally get great performance with Jaws. I did this in my bathroom. I could smell it, but it wasn't super strong. I did fake and bake pink sugar. This was so strong, y'all, but I did not care for the scent. I think fake and bake has zucchini bread in it, too. Yeah, it was so strong. But if you like zucchini bread, 
blended with pink sugar you would like that one and then i did l3 jelly beans cupcakes at tiffany's cotton candy i did this one in my bedroom bathroom and it performed really well i did finish a scoop from l3 in frosted banana cupcakes this was a custom creation that was picked when l3 was doing like the custom blends um the customer blends this is banana cream pie frosted animal crackers vanilla bean noel cupcake. cake so i created this blend in 22 i did not care for this though um i was just jumping into banana scents and i was trying to get this to smell like like an authentic banana scent but like a banana frosted animal cookie the banana in here is like laffy taffy almost candy like and yeah it, it just it performed well but it wasn't a favorite it wasn't a favorite um so i would not get that one again we have two tubs both of these teddy bees okay i'm happy to be done with this one i've been working on this one for so long and i've only been using it in my bathroom it is springtime in montana crisp cotton lavender white peach and vanilla balsam now it's nothing wrong with this scent but did i need a tub in it no this is strictly a bathroom scent for me i don't think i really care for clean cotton or crisp cotton and wax unless it's like with some fruity notes this was very pretty i really only got the lavender and the clean cotton or the crisp cotton i didn't get any peach or vanilla balsam super strong did in my bathroom and i finished it so woo. and then this one is is it i'm just gonna say beautiful flower cashmere cream tobacco flower and palo santo this one was a beautiful one this is beautiful if you like the tobacco scents um i'm still kind of new to tobacco blends i don't gravitate or just pick a lot of tobacco blends out but this was this was nice and it's pretty with the cashmere and apollo i probably would get this one again but in a souffle both of those perform well for me all right we got k's cupcakes at tiffany's vanilla cake buttercream toffee and a hint of chocolate um k's has my favorite cupcakes at tiffany's hers is just oh my god it's so freaking decadent and good i love this scent Oh, I had to smell it again. It's so good. And I need more. So I need to place an order with K's. Um, Fay Recall. And I need to place an order with the bathing guard. This was really good. This was um like a blackberry scent. I did this in my bedroom twice. This was super strong, actually. It performed well in my in my sexy warmer. My cord. I couldn't think what it was, but the, the one with the three in there, the cord warmer. Did really good. I would pick that up again. Junkie Monkey Grape Airhead. Love this one so much. It was so strong. I love this grape. I would melt grape every day if I could. Hopefully, I don't get tired of grape scents, but I don't know. Maybe it's something reminiscent of my childhood. It's a memory, a scent memory somewhere because I don't know why I'm like obsessed with grape scents, but I am and I love them. Okay, we have everything. Vice hummingbird cake. This says spice cake, cinnamon, brown sugar, cream cheese frosting, crushed pineapple, bananas, toasted pecans, and coconut shreds. So, I melted this one and I got the candle. I'm not going to get up, but it's up there. I got a candle from Bath & Body Works. Smells just like this scent. It was really good. Like a cream cheese, pineapple cake vibe. Really good. Liche Prosecco from Sweet Tooth Scents. This scent was so strong. Um, Liche Grapefruit Prosecco, Rose Violet Leaves, Strawberry Vanilla Oris. This was like super, super strong. And I melted all five pieces in my warmers in my kitchen and like one in my living room and I blended something else. This is all I can smell. And it, I wasn't complaining because it was nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, I got like a powdery violet floral vibe going on in the vanilla and a hint of strawberry. Not what I normally gravitate to or melt in my open concept, but it was different and I actually enjoyed it. Another one from Tater Bees is I love you too. I love you too. Let me show you how it looks. 
okay and i kept it in the tin because i wanted to show you guys she offered these one time in her like ready to ship i think i was able to only grab like two of them but this is sweet citrus notes of orange and lemon green woody florals warm musk and vanilla this is a, a dupe a lush dupe the olive branch dupe this is like a green earthy orange scent it's not my cup of tea even though i love lush I've used Olive Branch, but it's not sweet enough for me. But it was it was okay. It was it was an okay performer. From Sea Sugar, we have Bordeaux de Amanda. Finish this one. It's pink almond nectarine, vanilla, sandalwood, sweet musk, splash of raspberry champagne. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sea Sugar Wax performed so well for me in my home. This smelled like a uh, a fancy perfume and it was very pretty really enjoyed it okay next we got scent shots we are not too too far long almost done um this one is king and candle strawberry lemonade i've really been enjoy enjoying king and candle this was so good she has a really great strawberry lemonade scent i actually picked up on the d stash page um like a mystery lot from this vendor and it was only $25 shipped. Y'all would not believe how much wax I received. Um, I think I received like 39 cent shots in uh, one of her tubs. It was just so many cent shots. So I was going to do a video, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to melt them and talk about them as I go. But that strawberry lemonade was great. Grape Lip Smackers from Yummers, another one that I would definitely pick up more of. Really good. So, so good. Oh, man. I love grape. So, y'all know that, though. Um, Slumberland, Coconut Milk and Lavender, Buttermints, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Ostella. She is no longer in business right now. This is one of my very first vendors. Oh, this was so pretty. It smelled better on warm. Like, once I cut into it, I can definitely pick up... The butter mints and the cupcakes at Tiffany's. Really good for bedtime. We have Tiger Lily from Penny's Wax Melts um, vendor on Etsy. This was a good floral scent. Counters by Victoria Jelly Donut. I didn't really care for this one. It was not, it wasn't strong enough. And, but it had a lot of wax oil residue at the bottom. Just wasn't strong enough for me. And then I did my sample in Blushed, which is from Teddy B's. Love this scent. It actually performed really well. For this to be like probably just poured or freshly poured, performed really great. Now for the non-wax items and we are done. I want to share about this growth serum. This is a hair growth serum that I use. And um, I don't know if you've probably y'all have seen my other videos but when i'm normally wearing my hair down that is my hair and i grew my hair out within like a year my hair was like up here because i cut it um because it was damaged and i started using this hollywood hair bar and it's for all hair types this is not just for my hair type it's on the website it's for all hair types um and it just it has like ingredients like it has a lot of stuff hemp seed oil carrot oil mustard seed oil almond oil chili oil olive oil black tea you get the it's so many different oils y'all this stuff grows your hair so if anybody's looking for something a hair growth serum for their hair or edges or anything this is great and i highly recommend hollywood hair bar it's like twenty dollars for this bottle but worth every penny. And moving on with Lush, we got Flower Gel, which is a shower gel. Um, this was really nice. This was like a floral, a floral scent. And it has marigold petals, lotus root inf infusion, and whole wood oil, ylang ylang oil, jasmine absolute. Y'all know Lush be putting the products that natural. I love Lush. Um this was a nice floral scent. I don't know if I need more, but I did enjoy it. And we got a shower jelly pot of gold. I, I, I'm ashamed to tell y'all how old this is. This is probably, this might say 2018 or 19. But 
I my Lush products does not like go bad or expire. I keep them in like cool dry places. This was good. I used it as um for my bubbles, like a bubble bath. It had like uh let me see what does this smell like. It says pineapple juice. To me, this smelled like that orange pineapple vanilla absolute. It was actually pretty good. So that is pot of gold. So that is everything that I finished this go round. I will be back, y'all. I got a, a couple of more videos to upload. So I will talk to you on the next one. Thank you if you stuck around to the end. Y'all be good. Stay safe and talk to you later. Bye.